Hello everyone! So I've been born and brought up in Mumbai but I have never been to Kolaba. I had never been to Kolaba because this was my first time ever to Kolaba and uh, I'll tell you all the stories and share everything towards the end and right now we're just gonna see all the things that I bought for all those of you who just wanna look at what I bought. So we are going to go in the order in which I purchased the things and so the first stop that I purchased was <laughs> something that is inside out. It's this strappy top. It's of white creamish in color and it is very crumpled which I don't think that's how it's meant to be. Like I'm going to definitely uh, wash and iron all the clothes before I try on them for you. And yes, it has a little, um, what do you call it, crochet? Yes, some crochet over here, some crochet over here and beautiful lace flowering over here. Let me have a close up for you guys. Again, this has adjustable straps. Now, uh, I love adjustable straps and yes, and that's why I bought it. So this is from Forever 21 Contemporary section and uh, if you guys uh, are familiar with the name Forever Love on the tag, this is the range, like this is from that range. And I always love strappy tops but then they are very expensive so I never buy them and I'm happy I got this. So this one was for 250 rupees and definitely if you go to Kulaba you have to bargain. Also this was everywhere like they have multiple pieces, multiple sizes so you can, you can get hold of all of these. Alright so I've decided to do something different that instead of wearing up accessories throughout this haul I have paired up different kinds of shades with every outfit so this is a collaboration with myself for my video the shades haul. Also guys, please do not mind my bed, it's currently upturned but then I was like I have to film and I'm not doing anything else except being a little presentable and getting all the things I have to show you. Okay, so the next thing I bought was also from the same vendor, it was an impulse purchase, like I was just about to leave when I spotted it and I was like I am buying that and it is this very mint green striped shirt. Now, uh, this is from the brand Terranova. Now, there's a reason why all of my clothes which I purchased from Kulaba are branded. Because personally, I think that whenever something is branded, there is a lot more thinking that goes behind it because um, the material has to be amazing. Otherwise, you know, your brand name can come down. And that's not the case with a non tagged clothes. Like, usually the quality is quite flimsy. And uh, yeah, that's why. Because this is so soft and very well structured so i really like that and uh, this shirt has you know it's detailed with a cut right over here so if you button up the full sleeve lens it'll still look stylish then it also has one button up here so that if you want to roll up the sleeves you can roll it up and secure that then it is a two pocket shirt and yeah that's pretty much it also, all of the buttons have the brand Terranova written, so that says that it is original and it's not just sewn on. You have to be very careful about seeing if it's original or not because there are many fake Zara tags around. So I'm going to tell you towards the end how to be aware of that. Here, I'll just give you a close up. Also, I tried to button up the shirt for you guys, but as you can see, I've done it the wrong way. So I do hope you get an idea. <laughs> Okay, so this shirt is slightly see-through, so you can actually see, you know, my t-shirt uh, through it. But I really like it because it fits really, really nice and that matters. And the quality is amazing as well and the color is super unique. So this is an amazing one. Okay, so the next thing I purchased is one of my top three favorites. And it is an off-shoulder top. Now off-shoulders are going everywhere and I do not own a single one. So I spotted this and you are gonna about to get, you are going to, you are about to get blown away. It is this amazing off-shoulder top from Zara. Now I didn't know it was from Zara or I guess I did see the tag and I was like, the top looks pretty, it looks original, let's go and inspect it. So then I start my inspection, I inspected the tag first up. 
and since it had like all of the proper details like Zara usually mentions where the top is made like where the clothing item is made and all of its sizes in you know Mexican Euro size and the American sizes and well I didn't remember the exact countries but I did remember they mentioned sizes in different according to different scales different country scales and the, this tag passed the test then I inspected this tag and when I saw this I was like okay this is original then I went ahead and just adored the top and then got to bargaining because just look at it. The sleeves are nice and flared. The bottom has the smallest peplum and it's just so pretty. Also, it looks massive. Even when I was purchasing, my friend was like, is that going to fit you? But I was just like, it's an extra small. There's no size smaller. It has to fit me and it fits perfect. So uh, as you guys, I, I hope you saw, it's for 25.95 euros, I paid just 3.33 rupees, that should amount to like, I guess around 5 euros, so that's why I love it so much, also uh, it has, it's a nice crepe material, so it is slightly see-through, hence I might have to wear a camisole with it, but no I don't think I will, I do have a tube, also from Sara. Then again, this has nice chicken embroidery in stripes at equal distances. It's just so well put together. And guys, that's why I was saying that you get a very well thought piece. Because I've never seen a piece like this on the streets where people think so much that okay, we should have this embroidery, we should have this much distance and the sleeves should be this flared and the material. The main aspect for buying branded is the material. <sighs> So much of talking, <laughs> but then this is of it. Look at how pretty it looks, and I this is my favorite big fall. And I don't understand the concept of keeping quiet, like not talking for some time. I talk throughout the video. Okay, so the next top is also from the same vendor. Now he had these two really nice pieces and I picked up both of them. It is this amazing color dusky salmon pink top. Again, it's a very uh, it's a very similar material from the Zara off shoulder top. It's crepe and it has very nice detailings like um, the what what lens would this be like right. Uh, just below the neckline, it has this amazing cutout lace, I think which is slightly similar to the sleeve lace detailing and the back is what really attracted me. The super pretty netting with embroidered flowers. And again, it's characterized with the tear rope and which you can fasten with the button. Um, the upside again was that I got both of them an extra small which is a great thing because I really am lacking to wear close to my size. and. MRP at 25 million euros, I pay 333 rupees, again which is around 5 euros. Huh. Just, I just love this colour. This colour is something that, you know, um, I would wear as a lipstick. And I really like these tall and unique colours. Which, oh, I think usually I find such colours only in branded stores. And Kalava, I am coming again because I really found two, two really nice pieces out there. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, this is from the brand Calio. Yes. So this is slightly loose fitting, but you know those kind, right? Like, even though they fit loose, they look elegant. And this is one of them. But a disclaimer, I met with a huge accident with this top. It left a lot of color and you'll see what happened. Also, please don't think that my video is haunted because I just have normal lighting. I don't have any soft box, soft box lights yet. So, um, it's really messing when I'm picking the clothes up to show you. But when I try it on and when I'm far away at this distance, you can see the true original color. So, when I'm trying to do the clothes up, please don't go on the color. Just see the detailings and the color will be very clear when we're right far away. Okay, so next I purchased this very stretchable 
denim jacket which is an off-white cream color Oh, and this oh my god I'm getting goosebumps by touching this because the material is crazy it is just so stretchy and uh, this is a size medium and it's by the brand vintage america blues and again the buttons say the same thing vintage america blues that makes me believe that this is original and the tag is not just sewn on also the reason why i purchased this was that i do have a lot of black throw-ons like jackets and stuff to wear over camisoles and basic t-shirts but none in white so this was a unique shade of white and that's why i liked it also the guy bargained very fast he quoted me 850 or 800 and i said 400 and i told him i don't have more time i am not going to pay more for it so if you're going to bargain tell me now or else i'll work over it and then he's like he tried to haggle twice but then he didn't mess with me so I got this for 400 rupees and uh, the sleeves are full length obviously but I, but I got it rolled up and I like the way it's rolled up so I haven't opened it out and uh, one thing is that it has really big buttons so if you don't like that you might not like it but I quite like it and they had two more shades they had a denim shade and a grey washed out shade like they were washed out patches which I did quite like so I picked the basic one It also has like little seam lines on the back and I think this is a stretchy denim material. Regardless the same, it's it's just it's just very comfy. And I haven't worn any of them because I just wanted to show you guys first except the last thing. So I'm just waiting to wear this because I get very cold very fast. Alright, so I forgot to mention that the first white sleeveless top and this jacket, both of them got the color on them and that is why they have turned a light shade of dusky pink. I, I couldn't do anything now, but I still like it. It still looks nice. So I haven't really lost anything. In fact, I like my white sleeveless top better in that color. Okay guys, so we have the last clothing item left. Now, I did spot it beforehand, but the vendor didn't bargain. So I was like, if you're not bargaining, I'm not buying it. But then he was a smart person. Like, I had hidden hidden the top at the back so that no one else would buy it because I, I think this is the only piece left. And it was my size. But then that smart person bought it back up front, and when I was leaving, I had planned to buy it. But then I was horrified that, oh my god, somebody else could have bought it. But then no one did, and then I got it. It's this very pretty cropped top from Forever 21. It's very feminine but so unique at the same time. Like the embroidery is very, very beautiful, and it's a contrast color of this amazing deep dark blue. And that just makes me love it more. The main thing is that it's a square top, if you can notice. And it's like a kaftan pattern and uh, the entire border is embroidered, the back half of the border is embroidered and it's again characterized by a teardrop which you can shut with the help of a rusty gold button. It's just it's just so unique. Also it just complements my skin tone a lot. So even though it might not look that pretty but when I wear it you'll see how nice it looks. Alright, so this does not look as amazing as I thought it did but a little bit of decent makeup and a little effort for the hair, I can definitely pull this off and make it look really nice. Okay, so the last and the only thing that I didn't wait for to show you guys and use it, it was because I couldn't resist, okay, is this. pretty backpack it is for leather and it has rusty gold detailing and the straps are really nice so usually I don't buy backpacks because of the straps and this one has really sturdy yet nice looking straps like the back strap is for leather but the inside of it is the normal cloth the normal material of the normal bags 
and this is what gives it the strength because otherwise coal leather is never ever strong enough at least to hold my immense amount of stuff so yes and it has a little hang on loop i don't know what to call it adjustable straps obviously bags have to have adjustable straps and this is how it opens up again it is uh, characterized by a zip right inside here and it has two little pockets inside one is a zip pocket and one is an open pocket also these two are magnetic i don't know if you can see it it's just so pretty and you're gonna be blown away when i tell you how much i bought it for i got this one for 550 only again the vendor didn't bargain he quoted me 550 i had to pay him 550 because i tried to bargain for like 10 minutes but he didn't I totally love the purchase. It just looks so nice and also it's small as compared to my previous backpack which is, um, I did film a video on what's in my backpack. What's in my bag? I'll link it right there. I just, just love it. I have seen such bags at Forever 21, Zara and they are never below 2000 rupees. Like an average of 2000 rupees and whew, I love it. I happily correct myself that this is my favorite pick following the Zara top. I come on now, just how 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 nice is that? Like no words. Okay, so that was all that I purchased in my first trip to Kolaba. I spent uh, an amount of 2,367 rupees. That leaves me at an average of 338 rupees per item, which I think is totally worth it. Like, I'm really happy with the deals I got, and uh, I didn't purchase any jewelry because I was really short on time. So, you need time. And uh, didn't purchase any footwear either because I liked a couple of pairs but then uh, for one pair of shoes I didn't like the shoelace the other didn't fit me perfectly so I was like all right I'm not buying any footwear because I think I've got enough and also for jewelry I didn't have enough time I did stop at those stores but then I was so worried about leaving on time that I didn't I didn't buy it and again how are you going to find if the top is original or not first up Look out for if it has these inside hang-on straps. If you don't know what the straps are for, usually branded tops come with these strings so that you can hang them on the back of your cupboard or inside your cupboard on the hangers so that you don't end up spoiling the top while hanging it. So usually branded tops have their branding on the on these hang-on strings. So this one does say Zara Woman. This one does say Forever 21 Contemporary. So that is very minute detail to copy second thing check the material like i saw this pretty red top which was well designed but the material was so flimsy uh, it was from like the tag said promote and promote i think is a nice brand i haven't been to their official outlet but i've heard that it's a nice brand but the material was very flimsy and it did not have the strips it did not have a price tag so i realized it was a fake one so first tip look out for the strings second look out for the material third one see if it has a tag which which says it's a new top or not because that matters and uh, last up check this one because if you are familiar with the brand you will know if the uh, original tag is supposed to look the way it looks or not so yeah that's how that's how you can find if the top is original or not and the main tip is buy it only if you like it don't buy it because it's cheap because everything is cheap so buy it only if you like it and yeah i, I just like this one a lot <sighs> okay i think i think that's all i wanted to share with you guys yeah also i didn't pick up any shades because i've got many i'll do a whole soon 
I, I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed shopping and do let me know if you want to see something else and uh, if you did enjoy the video do give it a thumbs up and I hope I could help you out in any way in case you want to see what stuff you get out there and in case you lacked any of the pieces. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very very soon in my next video. Goodbye! If you guys want to know more about my shades, then you can go and check out my shades hole, which will be right there. So goodbye! Again!